Yo, what is going on, homies? It's your boy Stumped back for another OPTC video. And in today's video, we are taking on the new forest magnetic against Kid. Now, this forest is ridiculously hard. Like, it's this and the Hawkins forest, man, they just set a whole new bar. But in saying that, the power creep is pretty real. And um, the main sort of core units that core forest units, I guess, the best forest units can get it done fairly well so this is the team that i was rocking um he managed to do it quite well uh shanks crew just being an absolute beast rainbow captain helps out quite a lot um so we have our boy shanks crew as the leader here completely rainbowed out um and limit broken key not overly necessarily though with bullet support for the extra damage but um just a stat booster really we have vv becker now vv becker is key limit broken uh not necessary to key limit break them but i just recommend key limit breaking this unit it's they're one of the best units for forest garb challenges all of the really long extensive con content these guys do it incredibly incredibly well uh the next unit we have is luffy zoro luffy zoro has one of the best switch abilities in the game especially for long content like forest the fact that you can just get one turn of utility by switching is ridiculous plus they have a stupidly good special for free spirit and slashes which like this whole team is really well it actually this whole team actually is except for vv becker when you form them uh or if you are rebecca but in saying that um their special just does so much and is so so handy for this uh forest we do have um uh koshiro that's what his name was i want to say kiora shiro but i knew that wasn't right when i was filming the um the actual gameplay so we do have him as a support on zoro this is pretty required to be honest um we need a way to remove the uh defense up on the um page one x drake and hawken stage so that's where this guy comes into play just an incredible support unit so unfortunately it is a limited rare recruit support so that's kind of sucks but um just makes this content or this that stage which is already ridiculously hard so much easier uh, the next unit we have is the incredible Sabo Koala. Uh, something to note here is, and something that I had to do, was actually limit break key them. Um, they, that extra cooldown for these guys is incredible. Uh, I would recommend it as well, uh, limit break keying this unit. Um, you don't have to max them, just get them to the cooldown so slot. Uh, look at that recovery too, 791, that's huge. Um, but that extra cooldown is essential. We also have Halloween Ace as support on these guys here. Halloween Ace is not required required. Um, definitely helps. But if you don't have Halloween Ace and you're trying to use this team, um, you need to make sure that when you get on the Big Mom stage that uh, Luffy Zoro doesn't get binded so you can utilize their switch ability to remove the uh, bind uh, on that particular stage. So you can reset the game over and over again if you don't have this unit. But if you have this unit, slap it on Sabo Koala because... He has one of the best supports in the entire game. I need to put some investment in my ace, actually, now I'm looking at it. Finally, we have oh, probably arguably the best rare recruit in the entire game in Ivankov and Bond Clay. Um, these guys are limit broke key. Uh, whether that's essential or not, I wouldn't even argue that this is not worth limit break keying. Rare recruits do not take nearly as many... Uh, you, like, um, uh, not utilities, um, materials, as Sugo Fest exclusives do. So definitely worth your time to limit break key these guys. So that's the team. Um, it is very, very stacked, unfortunately, with a lot of very good legends and a lot of good supports. But unfortunately, like with this hard content, especially just dropping, it's kind of like what they want you to use, I guess. So we are using the Moby Dick uh, for the extra HP and we can basically farm out TND orbs at, in the first 10 stages and heal back with Vivi Becker's and Luffy Zora switch abilities uh, to get our health back and to stack TND orbs in the early stages. So once you guys beat the Kid Forest, uh, you will get this amazing ship. Uh, definitely find a team that you can do it, especially if you guys pulled um, a Kid. It is incredible for uh, strength and dex leaders. Um, especially Kid and Luffy Zoro. Those two units in particular just thrive so well with this ship. So if you, if you guys have units that can beat it, I would definitely look at trying to beat it. Um, as, as I mentioned, especially if you have Kid. Um, 
honestly, even if you don't have kid, like, you can still use this shit with, like, a hybrid kid team, and it's gonna work incredibly well. If you guys pulled Hawkins, it can work with Hawkins too, so, um, like I said, very, very hard content, but in saying that, that's the power creep, so let's hop in, let's check out the run, and let's see how the team performed. Alrighty guys, so here we are in the actual kid forest. So stage 11, we come up against a Apu. So um, against Apu, we are going to switch into uh, Zoro so we can remove the uh, socket bind. And we can also switch with our Bond or Invan Clay unit to remove the paralysis as well. And with that, normal attacks is plenty of damage. Uh, we also switch to Shang Screw for the attack buff, but not overly necessary. Stage 12, uh, we have Beige and uh two of his uh pirate crew members so we're basically just going to use the shang's crew special here to take out beach beach is really annoying you want to make sure you kill him first um he has 10 turns of rainbow shield and 10 turns of threshold cut it's not a huge like the damage reduction it's not a huge threshold cut but it's still fairly annoying to like kill all these guys now if you don't kill beach he's going to blow away your units and then if you don't kill the two guys in the back grotty and um uh, is it, oh, I can't remember, it's like Gino or something like that, um, or Vito, if you don't kill them after two turns, they poison you for ten turns, and, um, they still a whole bunch of nasty stuff, so, just make sure you kill them within that, uh, two turns, Shane Screw Special basically does that for you, next stage, we have your Rogue, your Rogue puts up five turns of, uh, defense up, so we're gonna use our VV Becker Special here to remove that, we're also gonna use another Shane Screw Special, as um, we are going to do a bit of stalling on the next turn, so we can get all our specials back there. You want to make sure that you are um, uh, both in your uh, Shanks, sort of form of your Shanks crew, so you get given in orbs on the next stage, or you can switch into Koala. So the next stage, we have two of kids, pirates. I cannot remember their names. I'm going to call them the Fire Breather and the uh, Pitchfork Bug looking dude. Um, these guys are pretty annoying the purple unit will re-roll your specials back and uh, if you don't kill him after three turns he rolls them all the way back to the start and the fire breathing guy after three turns gives you burn but we're actually going to use him to stall on so we do have the um shanks crew special still live so we can take this uh purple unit out pretty easily as we get a full board of non-matching orbs on this stage so we get in orbs with uh shanks so unfortunately, when I was editing, I accidentally deleted the first half uh, of this video, up until this point actually, as um, I wanted to basically speed this up for you guys because there's quite a bit of stalling. So apologies if the HP pool and the units, the, switch, the dual units aren't exactly the, the same. I just sort of went back through it as quickly as possible. But on, um, on this particular stage, we are just going to stall out using the switchability of, of Ingvin Clay and uh, VV Becker to basically heal back and give us damage reduction. We are also going to be switching with um, Zoro and Luffy as well for the TND uh, orbs just to get their counter up a little bit more. As soon as you can get Sabo Koala special, you do want to use that as this guy also gives you 99 turns of every color ma like unmatching. So as soon as you get Sabo Koala special, use that as well because you do want to get that cooldown um, before we move on to the next stage. Basically, once you get VV Becker's cooldown uh, to zero, and Sabo Koala should be on a uh, five turn cooldown, as you do need the limit break key um, for this particular team. Very, very important that you guys have that. So once we're done our stalling, um, we're on the fifth turn with Sabo Koala, and we've got uh, our full max VV Becker special. We can use our Shanks Crew special, uh, and then just switch with Zoro and uh, Luffy to give us that TND orb for their counter. Alright, so halfway now. At the 15th turn, or 15th stage, we have Killer. Killer gives us a one um, a one special debuff, so we are going to use Vivi Becker's special on this turn here, so we can remove his five turns of uh, Rainbow Shield. He has a counter mechanic too, and it is fairly a decent counter, so like you either need to kill him, or have a unit that just does absolutely no damage if you are stalling and by no damage i mean like no damage at all so with our switch abilities uh the color affinity from vv becker and our shanks crew special carrier from the turn before we have so much damage that we can just take out uh killer 
On stage 16, we have Big Mom. Big Mom is fairly annoying, but this is where we can kind of like set in stone our units. When we kill Big Mom, we want to make sure that we have all of our red units on the same rotation. So as you guys saw there, she binds two random units uh, for, what is it, eight turns, something like that. Um, as you guys saw there, we do have the support of Halloween Ace on our Sabo Koala for three turns of bind removal. And we got fairly lucky because our Shanks Cruz and our Zoro uh, Luffy didn't get uh, blinded. You want to make sure that you are in your uh, Shanks crew uh, form for the damage reduction. And we are going to use the switch abilities of... Um, um, oh, sorry, you don't need the switch abilities of Inman Clay for this particular stage as she wipes the end of turn um, buffs, as you see here, before she attacks. So... On Big Mom, I'm going to switch into Invenkov to give us, um, well, to remove the paralysis. Then we're going to use Sabo Koala's special here to give us a full board orbs. Now, you can, uh, if you are uh, Koala there, you have color affinity, but it's really not necessary to kill Big Mom as we do have quite a bit of damage. We do want to use the Shanks Crew special here before we switch with VV Becca. And we want to make sure that we are... Uh, Zoro, Vivi, Beck, Vivi, and Imvenkov before moving into the X Drake page one and Hawkins stage, which is coming up here. So this is where we're going to get all of our red units on the same rotation whenever we're doing our switches. And this this stage here, I had the most trouble with out of all of the stages. It is very very finicky this stage because it involves you guys moving units, like moving targets. Um, so that's fairly annoying, but. Uh, it is what it is. So we are going to switch with our Shanks crew to give us an attack boost as we can't use any special to boost our attack on this particular stage. We're going to use our Invenkov and Bond Clay special here to remove the remove sound effects. And then we are going to switch into our uh, red units to make sure we have enough damage. Then we are going to use our Luffy Zoro special. And as you guys can see there, we have uh, Zoro's early master. Is it uh, Kyo? Oh, I can't remember. It starts with a K. Um to remove the uh, damage or defense up that Hawkins, Page One, and X Drake have. Now, as you guys saw, I attacked with my left side and then all the way down with my right side, moving on to Page One uh, when I had killed Hawkins after the last Shanks attack. Uh, very important you attack that way so you have enough damage, and if you hit all your perfects, you'll actually kill Page One, but I, uh, I, I hit it great, unfortunately, so it is what it is. So, page one is going to blow away one of our units. Not the worst thing in the world, as we did quite a bit of damage on him the stage before. But then, on this next turn, X-Drake will basically just death hit us. So, you do need to kill these guys within a three turn. Make sure you kill Hawkins on turn one as well, as he gives you a no color affinity for 20 turns. If you get that, it's basically GG. So, with our switch abilities now, we've got all of our red units on the same rotation. We can kill X-Drake and move on to the king stage. All right, against King, he does some pretty funky stuff, this guy. He gives us a Despair at the start for six turns, and he binds our ship for five turns. Gives himself three turns of Rainbow Shield, three turns of Threshold, and he can't be debuffed uh, by anything but Poison. We're going to use um, Luffy Zoro's switch ability here, and we're just going to switch with basically all of our units, making sure that we stay as cr the Shanks crew um, for the damage reduction when the Gloom does go away. Um... As I said, the easiest way that I found from here on out was just to keep the red units. If you have one of the red units out, all of the red units should be out. Um, every single turn, King is going to make um, one of the random color, like one of the uh, colors non-matching. I think he goes blue, blue, purple, blue, purple, dex, red, and then finally, sigh or yellow. Now, after he um, does that, he basically blows away all your, your whole crew, except for your captain, and, and you lose, basically. So, we are utilizing our pinch healing that we have on our units, as obviously all these units are maxed uh, and all rainbowed. So, we are using our pinch healing against King here 
to uh, make sure that we can just basically survive the shots that he gives us. Uh, we are below 50% HP, so our bottom four units in terms of Imankov, Cyber Koala, Luffy Zoro, and Vivi Becker all have their pinch healing activated. So as you guys can see there, we get around 7,000 healing every turn. He hits us for about 8,000. So we can stall out the turns here until the um, yellow orb debuff is on. And then we are just going to blast King. So he's up to the, the Dex one now. If you guys get orbs as well, like if you guys have like a Dex orb, don't be afraid to like put some shots into King once he's when his defenses go away. He doesn't really do too much um, in terms of like getting him below certain health. Um, as far as I know, I never really got him past like 50%. Uh, when I was trying the forest. So let me know if he does in the comment section below. Uh, if you guys had any experience with King and getting like death hit or something like that. All I know is, is that he just does like a massive death hit after the uh, yellow orb debuff. Alright, so now he's given us the uh, yellow orbs unmatching debuff, which is fine because we have Shanks Crew as our leader. We are going to use our Shanks Crew special to make sure that we um, have enough damage to take out King. And then we can switch into all of our red units um, so we um, have the damage and all the extra abilities that our amazing dual units give us. The color affinity, well, we don't really get a chain lock, but we get the attack boost with Shanks, so... With that, we need to make sure that we attack with our friend Shanks first to remove the barrier. And then just attacking with the rest of our units, we have just... Color affinity just helps out so much. And the fact that dual units are two colors helps out even more. Stage 19, we have the big dog, Kaido. Now, um, this is the reason why this video is a little bit long, as this like was the first, like probably the first time, I think, really that I got to Kaido. I think, actually, no, this was the second time I got to Kaido as I accidentally died from his burn damage. So, fortunately, we have to sit through all of his um, animations as he does, like, I'm pretty sure he does a HP cut every single turn. Now, on stage one, we are going to take advantage of the fact that we can still get our pinch healing off. So, make sure you hit your perfects on turn one to get a bit of pinch healing back and just to just do, like, a fair chunk of damage to Kaido. He's going to do this um, this attack every single turn. The Fortified Scaled Dragon Tail. It does around 7,000 every single turn, but uh, we're going to switch into our crew for damage reduction, and then we're going to make sure that we keep our red characters on the same rotation. Kaido doesn't do too much in terms of um, HP thresholds, so you can actually hit him after he gives you that first initial burn, but do not hit your perfects. If you hit your perfects, you will die. Straight up. It's like a 25,000 burn. It's ridiculous. So, hit your greats. Um, do some damage to Kaido. I was a bit wary of him, to be honest. Because um, I didn't want to get him below 50% HP in case he did some stupid death hit or something like that. But, um, I don't think he does anything too crazy. On the next turn, though, we are going to use our uh, Invenclay's special. That's going to give us some healing as well. So, it's going to keep us alive against Kaido, but we just basically want to stall out the um, the burn damage. Yep, Fortified Scale Dragon Tail. We know Kaido. Alright, so we're going to switch into our red units again, making sure that all our red units are on rotation. This is the only time we break it, but it, it manages to, to make its way back in the end. So... Going to switch into Bon Clay and then use the Bon Clay special for the five turns of crazy healing. Make sure you do that before you switch with Vivi Becker. Now, dual units, they have a way of absolutely cucking you in, when um, using specials and their switch abilities sort of matching up. So make sure you use that first. Otherwise, you will die. <laughs> you will die. Alright, so I got Kaido to around 50% HP, 
as I mentioned, I don't think he does anything like too crazy. Um, if you get him below 50% HP, but I just I didn't want to take the risk. So now that we've got two turns of burn, uh, we are going to switch with all of our dual units that are available to us. That gives us a full board of orbs, which is excellent. And that means we can switch into our red units when we get to the final stage. But most importantly, make sure you use that Shanks Crew special first, as VV Becker and Shanks Crew special, or well, the switch and the special, they clash. So you need to make sure you use the Shanks Crew special first so you can carry over the chain lock into the final stage uh, and then switch into uh, VV, Zoro, and Koala. Again, make sure you do not hit your perfects. Um, the chain lock of Shanks will help you guys out quite a lot uh, and the switchability effects are just going to give you so much damage to kill kaido with greats all right we move into the final stage against the big dog kid the big dog kid we've been waiting to see you this whole time mate it's taken me a day to see this bloke the first time i see him is the first time i kill him so we're going to switch with cyber koala first to give us um color affinity then we can use the cyber koala special for a full board of orbs we can then switch with Luffy, Zoro, use their special for the 2.75 times orb boost. And then finally, we can switch into Rebecca for the final red unit. And with that, we don't have the burn anymore, so you can hit your perfects. Now we can just kill Kid. Boom! See you later, kids. So there you guys go. That was the Shanks crew team and the power of dual units taking on the new forest magnetic kid. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, make sure to hit the like button. And if you want to stay up to date with all the OPTC content that I post, make sure to hit that big red subscribe button as well. But guys, most importantly, enjoy the rest of your day. I thank you all for watching and I appreciate all the love and support now that we are over 300 subscribers. So thank you guys so much. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Lights!